Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to English with Venya, a channel where we level up and never look back. Let's keep it straight to the point. Seven pronunciation hacks that native speakers use all the time and you can start using now to speak English just like a native speaker. If you're ready, let's do it. Number one, if your first word ends with a T and your second word, the word right after, starts with a Y, that T sometimes can change to CH. For example, why don't you call me later? Many people would just say, why don't you call me later? Why don't you call me later? I can't let you do it. Many people would just say, I can't let you do it. Let you do it. Or, I don't get you. Many people could say, I don't get you. I don't get you. Get you. Won't you? Don't you know? Very similarly, number two. If the first word ends with a D and the word right after that starts with a Y, we change that D to J. Did you do it? You could say as, did you do it? Did you do it? Or, I need you to stop it. I need you to stop it. I need you to stop it. Would you tell me? Would you tell me? Would you tell me? Did you see? Number three. The T after an N is often silent in American English. Instead of internet, you might hear something like internet. Internet, internet. And this is fairly standard. This is not slang. This is not overly casual. It's fairly regular. For example, advantages, advantages. Mm. International, international. Or accountable, accountable. Mm. However, this won't work if that T is a part of a stressed syllable. For example, integrity, you can't really say integrity. That doesn't really work. So integrity is gonna stay with a hard T. Or intoxicated, that T is a part of that very important stressed syllable. So you can't really make it silent. It's very important. Interview? What interview? Internet. Number four. TR and DR clusters. So let me explain what that means. When you see these two combinations of letters, TR and DR, they slightly transform. So TR would turn into a CHR, and then DR would turn into JR. Mostly because it's kind of hard to say these words with those combinations, right? And and keep it clean is just very difficult and it requires a lot of uh, focus and uh, effort which uh, we don't really like effort when we speak American English T train so difficult train train people just say train with a chip train instead of terrain or tree 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 I can't even get my mouth to do that central central Central, central with a ch, central. And when it comes to DR clusters, dream, dream. It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world to say dream, dream. It doesn't even feel natural to me. Or drip, drip, drip. Yeah, nah. Adrenaline, adrenaline, right? J, j, adrenaline. So TR turns into tr. And DR turns into dr. So dry. Dry. Dry? Uh, adrenaline. Number five is STR clusters. Now, it's pretty similar to the previous one because uh, keeping the integrity of the sound is uh, just slightly more difficult here. That's why we kind of modify it to make it easier. So when you see an STR cluster, we usually take that S and replace it with a light SH. Not too crazy, very light. It's just easier to do it that way. Look at this one right here. Street is just street, street, right? It's uh, very light. It's not a very harsh sh, but it's still there. Street, street. It just makes it easier because of the TR to make it a ch, street. We, we just blend it together and bring it closer together. and we kind of get a light sh there. Street. Or when someone is strong. Strong. Or strange. Strange. Have you seen that new Doctor Strange? Strange. Strange. Little evening stroll. <laughs> Number six. 
to turns into t. Let me give you an example and a, a, a proper explanation. So, as I've mentioned before, in American English, it's very important to us to be able to get our thoughts out without putting way too much effort in. Now, what counts as effort? Generally, rounding your lips for two counts as effort, especially when it's inconvenient, like in the middle of the sentence. And we generally like to avoid that where we can. I need you to talk to him. We're gonna take those twos and we're not gonna round our lips at all on ooh, and we're just gonna say, I need you to talk to him. It's a very lazy sound. The mouth is super neutral. You don't wanna go crazy and say ta, ta, no. That, that defeats the purpose. We wanna be lazy and we wanna be uh, smooth with it. I need you to talk to him. I need you to talk to him. How cheap do you want it to be? How cheap do you want it to be? To be, to be. It's not necessarily to be, it's to be. Do we really have to do it? Let's not round. Do we really have to do it? Have to do it, have to do it. Way easier, it flows better, right? Have to do it, too much. Have to do it, beautiful. I have to leave. Is this a joke to you? And last but not least, number seven. When your sentence starts with I, we typically like to avoid the diphthong. Diphthong is a double vowel sound, like I. There's A and Y, I. We usually just modify it and remove that second half of the sound and we say A. Ah. So if your sentence is I do it all the time, we typically, when we speak fast, we just say I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Just, just listen one more time. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Or, I've never seen anything like that before. Well, check this out. I've never seen anything like that before. I've never seen, see, we're, I'm not sliding or gliding into it. I'm not saying I've, I'm just saying I've never seen, keeping it straight. I don't understand. Instead of saying I don't understand, we just would say, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's very fast. We just kind of jump right over it. We don't linger there. I don't understand. No, it's literally, we're using it to get to the next one. I don't understand. That's it. Keep it very short and don't draw too much attention to it. I don't need it. I can't. I told you. And this is it. Quick tips to sound just like a native speaker. And if you learned something new in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what you want to see next. Thank you so much for being here. This is a channel where we level up and never look back. Until next time.